Hey finders and welcome back to Fortune Finds and welcome to another Fast Fix Friday where I give you one beauty tip in five minutes or less. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to get a fuller hairline in little to no time using makeup. Teaching you guys how to go from this to this. Whether you have a receding hairline, hairline that just bothers you, I have a widow's peak that's kind of off center, so I do like to go ahead and just correct my hairline to make it a little bit more even across the top of my head. Or you know, sometimes when you put foundation on, it can kind of make your hair disappear and look like you have a receding hairline. Whatever your personal problem in regards to your hairline may be, I got you covered in this video. If you are new here, my name is Fortune and I'm a certified pro makeup artist and I just like to have fun here on YouTube. I love to talk about beauty. I give you guys my tips and tricks, how I think you can better your makeup routine. And I also like to review products because let's be honest, I am a product hoarder. Make sure that you subscribe and ring the bell before you leave. And let's go ahead and hop right into the video. Hair gel, and I'm just gonna slick my hair back. Hair gel is important because it's gonna keep your hair in place and it's gonna help you know where you need to fill in so bald spots don't surface throughout the day. Then you're gonna wanna pick an eyeshadow. And I'm gonna pick a neutral undertoned brown. If you pick a brown that's a little bit too warm, it can translate red in some lighting. Whereas if you pick a cool tone brown, it can show up a little bit ashy or a little bit gray. Big dense brush like this covers more surface area in a smaller amount of time. So if you're in a rush guys, I will literally just do this step throw my hair up, put some gel in, and then throw on that eyeshadow using a dense brush like this. You're gonna wanna go ahead and start it towards the back of your hairline and deposit most of the product back behind the beginning of your hairline. As you start to run out of product on that brush, move towards the front of your face. You know, the hair in front of your face is not as dense as the hair in the back of your head naturally. So by moving forward as you have less product, it's just gonna help to keep the hairline a little bit more natural looking. For people like me who kind of want to reshape their hairline, I would definitely recommend going in with an artiste-like brush. This is an affordable one. I will list it down below. And I'm just going to go ahead and dip into that eyeshadow once again. And then I'm going to push it in the direction of which my hair is going. Focus this in the front of the face, in the front of the hairline. This is going to give you very natural hair-like strokes. So this is great for the front of your head. This is great for really perfecting the hairline because it's really gonna look like hair. If you would like to go a step further, which I never think is a bad thing, take an eyebrow pencil and I'm gonna pick an eyebrow shade that is a little bit more neutral. So nothing too brown, nothing too cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and just draw hair-like strokes like I would in my brows, except on my hairline. And again, this is really, really good for the front of your hairline to just really perfect it. I do like to go ahead and just make sure to blend it just in case so it doesn't, you know, give my trick away of what I did. So I will take that artiste brush and just run it over the sections very carefully of where I apply that eyebrow pencil just to go ahead and help blend it out. A step further, go ahead, take a big fluffy brush, take your favorite bronzer, put a little bit of bronzer on the perimeter of your forehead and kind of blend it over your hairline. And it's just gonna blend everything out again. Extra blending is never a bad idea and it's just going to make everything look a little bit more natural. Last but certainly not least, go ahead, take some hairspray and just spray your hair back and then gently push it back with your fingers. This is not only going to make sure that your hair stays in place, but this is gonna make sure that the eyeshadow, the pencil, and everything else that we have put in our hair stays in place. So that is it. Those are all my tips and tricks on how to get a fuller hairline. If you have any tips and tricks of your own, be sure to leave them down below in the comment section. I would love to hear from you guys. If you found this helpful, and you would like to see more tips, tricks, Fast Fix Fridays videos like this, then be sure to leave a big thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments. If there is any tip that you have in mind that you would like me to address, I would love to hear it. Leave it down below and I will address it in my upcoming Fast Fix Friday. Make sure that you subscribe and ring the bell before you leave. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.